Reigns fans, this one's for Rimfire Central. Hey, Rimfire Central is has a very knowledgeable group of Rimfire shooters over there. I mean, it spans all manufacturings, all types of ammo. Today is Sporter Day. And the reason why this is for Rimfire Central and I felt compelled to do this, RWS rifle match before the pandemic. Let's not talk about pandemic prices, but before the pandemic, $12 a box. Rimfire Central posted this website, and you can find that website over at dayattherange.com or on rimfirecentral.com. They posted a website of a manufacturer that had these for $4.99 a box. This used to be $12 to $13 a box. Now, $4.99 a box. And if the order is over $200, you get free shipping. We all thought it was a gimmick. Ordered a little at a time. Others were very successful. Arrived within a few days. Packaging, folks, not all that great. My box here is beat up a little bit, but the ammo's not beat up at all. I've got a couple of sporters out. This is the old Savage and Shoots with a three to nine. Again, Sporter three to nine day. I've got a Savage and Shoots 54 Sporter on the bench with me today. Coming up next will be the CZ 455 with a three to nine Nikon EFR on it. Man, I tell you what, those targets down range, they look pretty small. I've gotten so spoiled with the high power scopes. Man, those two inch targets down range look pretty small from the 50 yard line. But everybody over there, we're ordering the ammo and I haven't seen really anybody shoot it. So today we're gonna take these sporters and we're gonna shoot three five round groups and just see how they see how they group, see how they shoot short, short and sweet. By the way, I have taken 20 rounds a piece just to season the barrel and shot through both of these sporters. Anyways, CZ 455 on the bench with me now, the Savage Anschutz model 54 Sporter, three to nine Japanese made Weaver. Right now, coming up, hang in there. Let's see what we could do. RWS rifle match, it's from their professional line. We'll see how they do folks. Here we go. Man, them targets is small. Woo! Wind's blowing at a good clip today, too. Five round groups. That trigger. A little bit hairy. Think this is last round? Ooh, yeah. You know what? Folks, I really was not expecting that. I can tell you, I'm not sure what the last ammo was in this particular rifle, but the 20 rounds that I shot through it, I shot it at one spot uh, down range. I thought, hmm, I don't know. It may be RWS's professional line, but it didn't seem as accurate. But did you check that out? Let's see if we can replicate that with two other groups, and then we're gonna see what that CZ455 can do. Oh, Folks, I am liking this. Rimfire Central, thank you very much. By the way, I might order some more just for this particular rifle. I am digging it. Hey, hey guys, is this a thing? Tell me, somebody tell me if this is a thing or not. With a three by nine over more of a high powered scope. Um, Cause I've been looking for a higher powered scope for this particular rifle. And by the way, please let me know 
what you might have on it. I was thinking like something like a Weaver T16. I kind of wanted something in the same vintage as the rifle, but I'm not quite so sure because I'm wondering if with the three by nine, I am focusing more, by the way, the power is on nine. I'm wondering if I am focusing on more of the other aspects of shooting, really making sure the crosshairs are crystal clear, really focusing on my breathing, really focusing on my trigger control. Is, is there such a thing that um, when you know you don't have that much scope, you really try to focus in? I don't know. It just made me think about it on that last group. It feels like mentally I'm focusing a lot better or maybe a lot more than I would if I had a higher power scope or like when I was using on the last video with the old man, that Winchester 52D that had the 15 power Unertle on it. I don't know. Uh, Cause I know that thing shoots better, especially being worked over by Carl Bonarski. If you want to see that, uh, video take a look at the previous video anyways we got five more rounds in this thing this is the last group you guys know the deal the last group is what we measure for score and by the way with that winchester 52 go over to day at the range.com and you can see the card in the groups that were shot on camera i think what i'm zoomed in it makes the groups look a lot bigger than what they actually were and a couple of those groups from the winchester 52 there was a .2 in there. There was a .207 in those groups. Didn't look that way on camera. But anyways, last five rounds. Plus I got my spectacles on, reading spectacles. All right. I pull that last one and I know that last one was me. Anyways, I mean, $4.99 RWS rifle match. And I will tell you, man, people are ordering two and three cases. Now, I will say, with everything going on, look, I understand it. But, folks, let's not hoard. Let's give the kids and others a chance to get some of this ammunition at $4.99 a box. $4.99 a box. Used to be $12 to $13. Not sure how they can offer it at that price. But there you have it. The Savage and Shoots 54 Sporter 3 to 9. Coming up next, that old CZ 455 trainer with the 28 inch barrel. That thing is something long. Let's get it on the bench, see what it can do with RWS Rifle Match. All right, now we got this old CZ 455 out here. That's right, Sporter Day today. CZ455 with a Nikon 3 to 9 EFR on top. Man, I have to have these really, really high rings on it because of this tangent uh, sight on the back. You can remove them, but no way, no how am I going to screw this beautiful thing up. So in turn, I have a little bit of a turban cheek riser on the back. It's made really for center fire, but it is perfect. Perfect for this setup. So we're going to see, I'm going to get sighted in here. We're going to see, uh, oh my gosh, man, this is, this is criminal. This is just criminal. Oh my gosh. How come those targets are so small with this three to nine? But anyways, you saw what we did with the Anschutz 54 Sporter and the RWS rifle match. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to get it on. Same thing with the CZ455, see what we can do. I put 20 rounds through this thing, just like I did the and shoots, and now we're going to shoot another 15 for score. Let's get to it. Get my ears in. All right, here we go, folks. Ooh, those targets are small.
think I pulled that one. It didn't feel right to me. Four. Now we go five. I got 10 rounds in this old magazine. It will take 13 due to a base plate or an extension that I have on it from Anarchy Outdoors. Uh, has worked out pretty good with me. Sometimes I can get about 12 rounds in there and the <clears throat> spring sounds like it's, I don't know, kinking up and there's a trick to it. But I will tell you what, other than that, it does work pretty good. I've had 13 rounds in this thing before, but just 10 today. All right, let's see here. Ooh, that wind's picking up. Was that three or four? I'm not quite sure now. Oh, there's a the win. Oh, that's at 50 yards. Folks, I'll take that every day of the week. I'm going to put five more rounds in here to get the last target off. That looks pretty good downrange. What you think? So what do you think, Rimfire Central? Oh, uh, you know what? I'll shoot the last 10. What do you think about that? Uh, Rimfire Central, thank you, thank you, thank you for turning me on to $4.99 a box RWS rifle match. When I looked at pre-pandemic prices, I could not believe this stuff was going for $12 to $13. Not sure how they are happening. I did get two bricks of it is what you see today uh what is the is there a you know what rimfire central help me out i don't have a i have nothing on the tab on either of the tab so there's no lot number wait a minute there's there's some black letters on this yellow tab but everything i've seen on rimfire central says the lot number should be here. That, that's not the case with mine. This says 4535650. I am not sure if that's the lot number or not. Uh, there's nothing there, nothing here. I guess it would be the lot number. Let's open this box. It all came from the same brick. There's nothing there, nothing here. And this number is 4535650. I don't know. I might need some help there, folks. Tell me if that's the lot number or not. Let's put these last five down range. And this is number five. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You know what? I am digging this ammunition. There you have it, folks. What do you think? What do you think about old sporter day? Why don't you get out with your sporter? Hey, you know what? Any ideas? If you go over to dayattherange.com, you see I have a number of challenges going on over there. I can't see a thing at distance with these readers on go over to dayattherange.com and and check it out you see i have a number of challenges going on smallest group challenge hostage chart challenge old fort gun club challenge quite a number of challenges participants from all over the world are taking place is it time for a sporter challenge get your sporter out nothing better than a three to nine scope what do you guys think about that what target should we use with that let me know down in the comments below. There you have it. Sporter Day with RWS Rifle Match. I'm sorry, folks. I got to run. I got to get home because I think I'm going to order me two or three more bricks of this stuff if it's still around. 
Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out. Oh, Rimfire Central, please, please leave me some of this RWS rifle match, if nothing more, for my sporters. Because, wow, I love those groups. But you know I couldn't leave. I got this Winchester 52D that's been worked over by Mr. Carl Bornowski himself. And uh, you know what? Today, you saw it in the previous video. You saw it in the previous video where I used three brands of ammunition to see what kind of groups I can get with this thing. It shot pretty good, okay, for me. Um, shooter plays a big part as we all know. But I decided since I still have this thing before having to return it, since I still have this thing, that I was uh, going to try some RWS rifle match. That 15 power scope, man, what a beautiful thing. All right, do I need these readers? I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, it makes it a little clearer. My buddy Charlie over at the Reloaders Network, another good site, folks, for you to go and visit. He said, big fella, put on your readers. Don't be embarrassed by them. I'm not embarrassed by them. I just never thought I'd need them with, with, with the scope. It does make things a little bit crisper. But anyways, you care nothing about that. You want to see how this thing's going to do. So I have put 20 rounds through it also for spotters. Now, 15 more rounds for group. Here we go. Ooh, high and left. That's not sighted in as good as I thought it was. Didn't have my ears in, folks. All right, let's 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 get after this now. Come on. Let's do my brother Benji uh, a solid here with this rifle. That's where I got it from. Three. That's four. And that's five. You know what? Yep. I know you guys can't believe it, but I'm going to make a scope adjustment. That just put me really close to center. We're going to move on to that second target. Pull it back. Oh, yes, baby. Two. Man, the trigger in this thing is really nice. Really wide groove trigger. It's three. Here comes four. And five. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's five right there. Ooh, might be the best group of the day, folks. I don't know what you think. You can visit dayattherange.com, and I'm going to post the smallest group from each of these rifles over there on dayattherange.com and also on Reloaders Network. You'll get to see the target at the end. Watch the video. You get to see the target at the end over at dayattherange.com. By the way, I get nothing, not a dime, from you guys visiting over there. It is just a place for us to have great fun and camaraderie. You will find out. No sponsors. This is all done by you. That's why outside of my integrity means a whole lot to me. Outside of that, it's you all which inspired me to do the videos like I do them. Get them how I see them. No cherry picking. Exactly what happens on the range 
as I see it because it's sponsored by you. Even though I purchased this ammunition here, some of you have sent me ammunition before, which is greatly appreciated. All right, last target. Two. That's three. That's four in the wind. Saw the big weed blow as soon as I pulled the trigger on that last shot. How do I do that on the absolute last shot? And let me tell you, folks, that was me. As soon as I pulled the trigger, I felt the bag move. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the rifle is now resting on the second target uh, that I shot previously. Well, there you have it. Definitely, definitely, I don't know, man. This RWS rifle match... $4.99, there you have it, Rimfire Central. You wanted to know how it shot? That's how it shot. And you know what? From this rifle, from the two sporters, three to nine, I'll take those groups. Let's get home and measure them. Don't forget to join me over at dayattherange.com to see the size of the groupings and also make recommendations on what you think the next challenge should be. I think we should have a sporter challenge. A sporter challenge, one for iron sights maybe, one for three to nine. Iron sights maybe at 25 yards, Scopes no greater than three to nine at 50 yards. What do you think? Send me a target. Let me know what target you want me to try. I know old Charlie's dying to see me shoot at some lifesavers. And that might be it. That might be the toughest challenge at all. Folks have said that know your skills challenge and the hostage challenge is fun and also challenging. But I don't know. Can we shoot through the center hole of a lifesaver? With a three to nine scope at 50 yards? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? You guys come join me. Make some recommendations down below in the comments and over at dayattherange.com. Thank you guys for joining me. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.